YouTube, YouTube, what is going on? We are one week away, one week away from Ironman Florida, and I am absolutely so pumped to do this race. I have trained crazy hard, and now we're just seven days away. So before we get to the rest of this video, I want you to know that you are greatly, greatly loved, and that you are wonderfully and beautifully created, and that you are capable of far more than you could ever imagine. All right, guys, so in this video, we are going through everything I am packing for Ironman Florida. But before we get to that, I have an hour swim or about 4,000 meters-ish. So it'll probably be an hour, 15 minutes, hour, 20 minutes, somewhere around there. This is kind of like race day simulation swim seven days out. So let's go get that in, and then I'll be back showing you everything I'm packing for the race. And you guys are probably wondering, how in the world is he doing this during residency? Well, I have a week vacation, and I took the week off leading up to my race and then my vacation ends the day after my race so I'm gonna after my race I'm gonna have to hurry up get back to the hospital and then I work the next day anyway let's get to the swim and then to the packing beautiful okay really quickly I thought I'd show you guys what I'm wearing um, my wetsuit all that jazz okay guys check it the camera is a little off center but anyway this is the tear hurricane the top of the line hurricane, a sleeveless wetsuit. So I have good range of motion. I have wore it once. So far, this will be my second time and I absolutely love it so far. Definitely makes me swim a little bit faster. Okay, no more delay, gotta swim. The wifey's waiting for me at home. I gotta get this in before baby boy wakes up. Ooh. Well guys, I got the swim done. It was a lot colder than I expected and I probably should have wore a sleeved wetsuit. Um, I'm like <laughs> freezing to death now, but we got it done. It's about 4,000 yards. It took me an hour and 15 minutes. A little slower than what I wanted, but we got it done. Uh, now I have to, I'm gonna have to warm up quick. Um, I'm really cold. I don't know what this water temperature is, but it's a lot, like I said, a lot, lot colder than what I expected. All right, let's get home, see my baby boy, and uh, get to packing. And I'll show you guys everything I am taking to Florida with me. My gosh, I cannot believe how cold I am. <laughs> Whew, definitely made me more mentally tough. Throughout the whole thing, I was just freezing, but thankfully it felt really, really good. All right, one week away. So, so, so exciting. Whew. All right, let's get back to the house. Well guys, so it's actually the following day, so it is Sunday, and I just got done with my last big brick session. It was a two hour ride. It was like super easy, two hour ride and a one hour run. My left calf started to give me some pain. I don't know what was up with that, but so now we are packing. So what I'd recommend for everyone to do is have a list of everything that they need to pack. So I made a list here in this little journal here. This, uh, I guess I got this from Grand Canyon University and I have my list here. So I break down the list into household items that I need, clothes that I need, nutrition not for race day that I need, miscellaneous items that I'll need, morning swim bag, bike bag, bike special needs bag, transition to, and the run special needs bag. So as I pack, we will go through each of those. My baby boys want me. Let's go see him real quick. Oliver boy, Oliver boy, what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Are you playing basketball in there? I'm gonna get you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back in a second. All right, let's get back to it. So let's get to the bags. So this is what I am packing. This here will be my swim bag and my morning of bag. It looks pretty big, but that's because it has a wetsuit and all that. So what I'm gonna have is Body Glide. It is a must to make sure you do not get chafed. One gel, which I'm gonna eat right before I go into the water. Here are some Tums and some ibuprofen, which I'll take a little bit before the swim. And then I have a swim skin in case it is not wetsuit legal. I have a tear wetsuit here. It's sleeveless, and that's if it is wetsuit legal. And then under all of that, I have my tri-suit 
And then I have the clothes that I'm gonna wear the race day, and then that's also what I'm gonna put on after the race. All right, and then something else I'll need in here is extra boxers and socks, which I do not have packed here. And then I have a goggles and an extra pair of goggles here. So that's bag number one, morning of bag and swim bag. Moving right along, this will be bag number two. So this is my bike bag. So what I have here is all of the nutrition in the form of gels that I'm gonna be using. So I am between 240 and 300 grams of carbohydrates per hour. I have two of these, which I'm gonna be filling up with base performance salt in one of them. And then the second one will be BPN electrolytes, okay? I have two bottles here, which will go on my bike, and then I have an aero bottle that's gonna go on my bike as well. Each of those are gonna be double concentrated with BP and electrolytes and go one more sport, and then that's the base performance salt that I'm gonna be using in those little capsules here. Then we have my helmet with the visor. I have my race belt here, which this is gonna have my race number on it. I put this on in T2, um, just so I don't have to worry about when I'm transitioning to the run. Then I have my running or my cycling shoes, my socks that I plan to put on in T2. A lot of people cycle uh, sockless, I do not. And then these are the same socks I wear during the run. And then this is an absolute must, chamois cream. And something I forgot in the first bag and this bag will be, I will have a towel for each one. Then we go on to the bike special needs bag, which you guys can see I do not have laid out here. Um, really, that is because I'm not gonna have too much in it. There'll just be some extra nutrition in case I drop mine or something like that. And then CO2 cartridges and a tube for my bike. But that's pretty much it. I do not plan to stop at it, but if I have to, I will have that there. Then we go to T2 or your run bag. And so what I have here is my Nike Alpha Flies. So these are the running shoes that I'm gonna be wearing. I have my tier sunglasses. I have my tier race day hat. And then I have three gels, which I plan to eat on the run, but then I primarily plan to use the race day course nutrition. Um, and then I will have this filled up with base performance salt as well. A couple other things is I will have a caffeine drink before the swim, halfway on the bike, and then for the run, which was not shown here either. But then this is, oh, and then there is a run special needs bag as well. I do not have it uh, picked out. It's just gonna have some snacks that I might want, and then caffeine if I need, and some extra Tums and things like that. But I don't plan to use too much from my run special needs bag or my bike special needs bag unless the day is just going rough. But that's pretty much everything. Now there's a few other things that I have to pack. So if we go over here, you'll see this is just a jacket in case it's colder than what I expected. And then that's a rain jacket in case it is raining. Um, I am gonna have some equipment like an extra, or this rollout ball and things like that to roll out some tight and sore muscles. Um, I forgot to put these in there. Um, I take this about every three hours during endurance events. And then lastly, this is my giant tear bag, which is just incredible and can literally fit so much. Check out, check, see how big this thing is. Like, look at that. It is just massive and it can fit literally everything I just showed you and more. So that's the bag that I'm gonna be packing. One more bag for the clothes for the week since we're making a vacation out of this. And we're ready to go. That is everything I am taking. You forgot for, me. You oh, forgot me. And of course, my beautiful wife. <laughs> but that's everything. And Oliver, who's currently napping. But that's everything that I'm taking for the race day. Just a short recap um, of terms of nutrition, because that's like most important what a lot of people want to know. What I do is I aim for 240 to 300 grams of carbs per hour, starting after the swim. Before the swim, I'll have about 200 grams in a goo and a go one more sport drink. I'll have a little bit of caffeine before the swim. On the bike, I will aim for two goos an hour and one serving of go one more sport every hour throughout the bike. Same exact thing on the run. And then for electrolytes, I use base performance salt um, in those little capsules you saw. And I'll take a lick of that about every 10 to 15 minutes. And then I'll have one of them with base uh, or with BP and electrolytes, which I'll just chug a little bit of it with some water. Well, I guess I forgot to tell you one of the most important things to pack and that is your bike. So check it out. This is Maverick. This is a felt IA2. Um, and here are the wheels and the bike, Maverick. 
And so currently I'm charging him. So I'm using the DI2 system. And so I'm just charging it, making sure it is completely charged, ready to go for the race. And then of course my bike computer, this is the Garmin 520, um, which I plan to use on race day as well. So couldn't forget the bike. And then we are gonna put all of this, plus our week of clothes into Rolly. This is my wife's car. So we are gonna try and attempt to put it all into Rolly. All right, now that should be everything. Hope you guys enjoyed and make sure, make sure to track me on race day, November 6th, Ironman Florida, Tommy Martin, put it in the tracker app. And then always, always, always make sure you like and subscribe. Comment below with any questions that you have. And before I go, I want you to know that you are greatly, greatly loved and that you are wonderfully and beautifully created and that you are capable of far more than you could ever imagine.